to the main purpose of being in my mind and the rest of the world to analyze it in my little universe i have to find ways to keep it pushing so today we're going to talk about self positivity since i can't do workouts right now well at least not today and for a couple of days i'm going to post some motivational videos and then some other things as well to help people a lot of my friends told me i should do this so here we go all right so today i got some toast my toast just slid off my plate but i got some toast and i got my hot tea and i know you like what kind of tea are you drinking girl bam this and this and i got water because i i normally drink two bottles of water every day when i wake up it's very healthy for you and i got my mangoes and of course i got my music when i'm ready to play it so <clears throat> let's talk about some things far as positivity goes and how to stay optimistic and how to just like find self energy right so <clears throat> we all have days and moments and periods of times in life where we just want to be like you know what forget it i'm done i don't want to do it i don't want to i don't want to be here i can't take it you know and <clears throat> We all are always trying to find ways to stay positive. So what I've learned over the years, um, and even now, more so now than ever, and it's like the older you get, the more you have to find more self-positivity. So there are three ways to have self-positivity and to stay positive. One, which is the most easiest way, is to try to stand in the mirror, look at yourself, and come up with all the good things about yourself. You know, like, hey, you're beautiful. Hey, you're smart. Yes, you got this. You know, like, you can always do that. Or you can <clears throat> try to write. You can try to create things if you are a creator. Uh, you can also do what I call self-reflect. So you can write. You can write down like all the good things about yourself. You can, you could um, also write down all your dreams or goals. You know, not a lot of people have big dreams or goals or whatever the case may be, but that's okay. Doesn't mean that you cannot stay self positive. So that's number one. Number two, you can always do things to stimulate or relax your mind. So me. Well, I am a very creative woman. So I would literally sit here. This is my, my art book. And you see all these papers? It's because I will draw because I, I want to be a, a fashion designer and, and much more in life. Or I will write movies because I love to write movies. I will write scripts. Uh, I write music. I just like to write and it's crazy because I'm in college and I hate essays. That's a whole different thing. But anyways, I love to write. I love to write poems. I love to write music. I love to write um, movies, plays. And no, you know, to other people, they might read it and be like, girl, this is not professional. But to me, it is. You know, we don't always start off as professionals, but that does not mean that you do not have a gift. You just need the right people to help get that gift started but anyway so those are stimulating things that you can do if you like to write if you like to jog if you like to run if you like to um work out bounce up a down i don't know you know so relaxing things you could do to stay positive is like i love hot tea i love hot tea i love it I remember I used to collect so many different hot teas and I still will. And whenever I get where I'm supposed to be, best believe I'm going to have a lot of ass. I'm going to have a lot of hot teas, okay? Organic hot teas, hot tea, hot tea on hot tea. Don't care if it's from Japan, if it's from, I don't care. I want I want hot, my hot tea. So, <clears throat> yeah, hot teas. And for me, 
I love to play music, okay? I will literally light candles and just nod to some, some music and I will just like relax and just think of all the wonderful things that I'm going to be able to show the world someday. So that's number two, stimulating and relaxing your mind. Number three, which is a big, big thing. Now, a lot of you may not understand this when I say this, but it is it, it, it's so important. <clears throat> we all have someone or something that we look up to. Now, when you say look up to, some people look up to their parents, some people look up to their friends, some people, you know, and, and that's okay, but not all of us can do that. So I am one of those people who has to have outlets and an outlet is pretty much just an imagination. You have to have an imagination, a world. You know, like sometimes I would um, pretend like I'm acting or um, pretend like I'm doing an interview or pretend like I'm performing, just stuff to keep me positive and keep my dreams alive. Now, what I mean is that I have, I don't, I don't have sisters. I have it's all boys. So I'm the only girl and the way my life is set up, I didn't, I didn't really have females to look up to or anybody to look up to. So I had to, God sent me my own. And one of them is my biggest first sister, um, Tiffany Haddish. I love Tiffany Haddish and I don't give a damn about what nobody got to say, period. So <clears throat> what I'm saying is that whenever I'm feeling blue, or whenever I'm down or whenever I feel like this is it for me. What I do is that I turn to her, even though she's not physically in my face right now. Um, I still turn to her, which means I will play her music. I will literally watch all her movies, all her stand-up comedies. I will um, look up, look up research, just do stuff that involves just her and that makes me feel positive and makes me say girl you got this and you're gonna be right there one day so don't worry about it um it keeps me going every day we all have something or someone that keeps us going every day like every day and she's one of those people for me like i literally when i'm not in the mood a good mood or anything i'm like I'm watching Tiffany all day, like period. And it, it's not even about the fact that it brings laughter or anything. It's just, it's more of a personal thing. And that can't be explained on here because it's personal. But anyway, um, yeah, so those are three different views and ways that we can stay positive. It's called self positivity what can i do for myself to stay positive what can i do for myself okay not a, a general positivity not a um oh it's a positive day no like self positivity what do you do to keep yourself going i have illnesses i have all kind of things going on in the world but those are things that keep me pushing so you gotta keep it pushing what keeps you pushing it's not family members for me it's not friends for me it's not it's not none of that it's beyond me for me and I can't really dive into that because you're not gonna understand it because you have to have a mind like mine. So, three things. One, you can reflect. Two, you can stimulate or relax. Three, you can find an outlet. Three important keys self-positivity so with that being said 
I am going to play my sister's song because it is my motivational song every freaking day. And I'm so happy she made it. Take no loss. 